Hey, what's up my Koopa Troop? Welcome back to Koopa Kong Fu's LP of Super Paper Mario. Uh, what, what, what happened in the last episode? It's been a long time since I played it. Oh yeah, that's right, we got the second, uh, second star. So let's see what, uh, old beard. Is, is that a beard? Or th those, those are, that's a mustache. That's a, that's a scary mu Okay, so how was it, dear friends? Did you find a pure heart? Yeah. Oh yeah. And Mario just rips that out of nowhere. Mario, how did, where did you hide that? Oh ho, such pure brilliance. This is the true piece of the one true purity heart. I'm, I'm glad that he knows a real one when he sees it, but... Yes, we met Merlumia. She gave it to us. Why should he sound so depressed about everything? Well, what? Lady Merlumia? You were well met. She is an ancestor of mine. But still alive. She was the one who wrote the Light Prognosticus to counteract the Dark One. Oh, she's pretty smart there. Malumia and those who followed her built this town. That they are why we why we are here. I have a hard time speaking right now. <laughs> m m m Master Merlin, b b b b b b bad news. The guy with no eyes comes in. Oh no! I know what the bad news is. You have no eyes. That is bad news. What is it? Get a hold of yourself, lad. Maybe we can find you some eyes. Maybe it's those two things on the top of your head. I think that's hair, though, but uh, maybe those are your eyes. You see? Because I can't. Uh, um, um, uh, 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 I need some breath. You see? A girl fell out of the sky. I couldn't see it, but I heard the thump. What? A girl fell out of the sky? What in the world? I don't know. Just, just please come. Just get on the elevator and come up here to see. Come up there to see her. So it shall be. You shall not pass. <laughs> and you, Mer Mario, come along. We may need your presence as well. No, we won't. What can we do? Look at our mustache. It clearly f pales in comparison to his mustache. Are you just gonna leave us here with this book? Kind of want to. Kind of want to steal it, but I don't think we can. Look at all the science cool stuff going on here. We go in the third dimension. Is there anything cool for us to take? Uh, can we even get on top of that shelf there? We can get on top of this one. And no, ouch, that hurt. Um, no, there's nothing up there. So that was a giant waste of one HP. So whatever, you know what? Whatever. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. We'll get it back sometime. Well, there goes Merlin. They haven't gone very far since I was walking around their house. Uh, I suppose I should follow them, but I'm just going to ignore that and go somewhere else. I don't want to go down. Uh, do I want to use buy anything in the shop? Let's see. What do, now that we have some money. Good day. Uh, yeah. What's up? How's it? How are you? Good. Good. Lucky you finding how's it shop here in Flipside. What you need? Let's buy some stuff. Go ahead and grab an item you want. They're all good. Um, shroom shake, long last life shroom, fire burst. Uh, it might have helped to know what we had in our menu. So let's look at that first. Characters, pixels, items. Yeah, there we go. Life shroom, ghost shroom, fire burst, courage shell, fire burst, shroom shake. You know what? We're actually totally fine. So let's just not let's just not buy anything. How about that? All right, now we're gonna go. I guess. Oh no, you have you have no eyes too. Maybe that's your brother or something. You have eyes though. Lucky you. I mean, half people in here just get really unlucky about everything. Why aren't we going up the elevator? That was right there. Uh, no, they're not over here. Maybe they're. See, those look like eyes on that guy. Maybe because his face is smaller. But the other guy did not look like he had a mustache or eyes. I swear that could have been his hair. So I think he's still blind. That's that's his big problem. He's lying about this girl up in the sky thing, but we'll find out. We'll see what he's talking about over here. So what's going on? Flip side, third floor. Is this where I want to be? Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, so I was just looking up at the tower and she fell out of nowhere. I think she broke her spine. Look at Merlin looking up her skirt. What a... Merlin, you... You bad... You bad perv. What are you doing? Hmm... She does not look at all familiar to me. Who could this be? Let's take her down to my room. <laughs> oh, oh, hey Mario, what are you doing here? Oh, oh, oh. What's the matter? Mario doesn't speak, but he gets it across through sign language. Princess Peach, 
So this is the princess that Count Ble Black kidnapped? How did he get that across with just that one hand signal? I, oh, that was yeah. Well, the poor girl seems to have had a rough time of that, we can be sure. Oh, Mer Merlin, you're, you're being kind of weird about this. Uh, she doesn't appear to be conscious. Wait, why does that, like, leave... Oh, man, Merlin, what are you thinking, dude? And she is shivering uncontrollably. What could the problem be? Let Merlin fix it. Ho, ho, Merlin. Merlin, you... You creeper. Oh, ho, I know. Mario, you must go to the chef named Saffron on the first floor of Flipside. What? Why chef? I am sure she knows her warming and revitalizing recipe for this poor, poor girl. Once she revives, we'll be able to ask Princess Peace exactly what happened. Now, off with you! Find Saffron the chef on the first floor. I'm much too busy and important to do it myself, so I'm going to send you on it because the game needs some minor stuff to fill up time. Why can't I talk to Princess Peach? I was just looking up the tower and suddenly boom. You weren't looking, dude. There's no way you were able to look. It startled me so bad I swallowed my cough drop. Is that a health risk? Yes, it is. You're going to die. Don't be swallowing your cough drop, kids. Uh, make sure you chew them for- Actually, you shouldn't chew your cough drops either. They're generally hard. You should, uh... You should suck on those first. Ha, ha, ha. Suck on that! Alright, so now, are we on the first floor? Let's see if it- Well, we are. We are on the second floor. Oh, what a fail. We do need to go down one more floor, though, so let's go find a down elevator and, uh... Go find our chef, the Saffron. I just keep thinking of Saffron City. I can't help it. I mean, what you know, what are you supposed to think? Sh Saffron City, yeah. So let's go over there. Hopefully Team Rocket's not all over the place. We have to fight all the rockets. That was really annoying. Get your eradicates out of my game, Team Rocket. That's... All right, so we're on the first floor. Not this way, looks like. Dude, are your eyebrows mustache or eyes? Let's Let's... Oh, hello, sweet Gladys. Is the food ready yet? What? You're not Gladys, are you great, Grandma? Oh my gosh, this guy's gone old and senile. Let's not worry about him right now. It's Things aren't going too well. What are you doing in here? Hi. Something wrong? Have you met my Walter? The old dear. His eyesight is going, I'm afraid. Yeah, no one else in this village has eyes, so lucky for him he at least has... No, he has eyebrows. He doesn't even have eyes. Okay. He can't make focuses out, and he tends to yell a fair bit when he's hungry. I have to admit, though, when he gets hopping mad, he gets mighty hunky. What? That is some weird stuff. Okay, I got nothing against old people thinking the other one's cute or hot. But when? Tell me when in the world this guy could ever be hunky. There's no way! Okay, so enough of that. He is not going to be hunky. This looks like a restaurant. It's got a little kettle pot in the side. You must be Saffron. I am glad to see there's no Team Rocket around, though, so... Welcome to Sweet Smiles! Oh, sugar, our dishes will turn the little frown right upside down! I couldn't think of anything better to say! Hey, what's up? What? A friend of yours is out cold? Oh, mercy, Mario, how do you explain everything in one hand gesture? Uh, well, listen here, sugar, she sounds like she needs some spicy soup! You have to buy it though, it's gonna cost you 250 freaking coins! I'm just kidding. All I need is a fire brush to make a Oh, she did need stuff, okay. To make a pasta that'll warm up in a jiffy. Some stores sell fire brush, so just check the sales wherever you like to shop. You bring me one, sugar, I'll make you some tasty spicy soup. But, oh my, looks like you already have a fire brush, don't you? Yeah, I come prepared, lady. Do not mess with the Koopa We know what we're doing around here, kinda not really. Are you the. Enterprising one, hand it over and I'll whip up some spicy soup. But I need that fire burst. Okay, fine, you can have it because I have like three. Yeah, you can have one of them. So, sugar, you want me to create a dish with you? For yes, yes, I'm giving you the fire burst. Just use it. My my friend is dying here. Use the fire burst. Don't be showing off your skills with the ladle. Make me some stuff. How is your how is your hair doing this? How is that even happening? Sorry about the weight sugar, but it turned out just right. That was really quick. That wasn't like a weight. Sip with a flame-proof spoon. Fills 8 HP and cures poison. Oh, that sounds nice. I don't have a flame-proof spoon, but I think I was just joking. This ought to wake up that sleeping beauty of your sugar. Get it to her just as quick as you can. So, why is there a Nintendo DS over here? Awaiting data upgrade. Oh, well, there you go, Nintendo DS. Your Wi-Fi wasn't good enough, and so now you have to sit there and wait. Just kidding, Nintendo, but really, you should start getting on that whole Wi-Fi bandwagon. Everyone else has done it. 
All right, old hunky man. Oh, that sounds so weird. Why would you why would you call him hunky? Name one thing about him that is hunky. Nothing. I can't think of a thing. He's got hunky eyebrows. Maybe okay, there we go. He's got hunky eyebrows. That's about the best I can figure out. All right, so let's go up one more floor. Uh, I think this will do the trick. I know I used the other elevator last time, but hopefully this one will work as well. Oh, maybe it won't. Well, I hope it works. Okay, do we have to always watch this cutscene? This is really necessary. We get it that the elevator goes on a floating weird track. So what am I at here? Okay. Oh, this is flip side. Okay, no, this was not correct. This is not at all where we want to be. Um, Princess Peach is dying, so let's just fall down this way. Oh, well, we're back in town. Okay, that's not what I wanted either. Uh, okay, so... Oh, yes, it is. Hey, what's up? <clears throat> I did this on purpose. Okay, no one's going to cutscene me for my arrival. Who do I talk to? Princess Peach? I guess so, yeah. Hey, Princess what's up? <clears throat> uh, oh, let's give her some spicy soup. There you go. Let's... I don't know. She's unconscious. Guys, do not ever feed your unconscious friends soup. That's probably not a good idea. It's just going to, like gurgle out of their mouths. They're not going to be able to drink this. Uh, oh, wait. It's a Princess Peach. Though I guess she could sound like a man because she's unconscious. Ugh. Oh-ho, it seems to have worked. Oh, she's just yawning. I guess she was just tired. Mm, it, just, it feels like I just ate the most delicious thing. Yeah, Mario shoved up your mouth. I mean, <clears throat> what, a, what a bad per hey, Sorry, guys. Let me get a drink of water real fast. My throat is kind of sore. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, there, that's good. Okay. Yeah, it feels like I just drank the most delicious thing. Okay. I haven't had a dream about such tasty food in ages. Hey. No, you broke your spine. Oh. Oh, Mario. You're okay. Yeah, cool. What's up? How you doing, baby? But where exactly are we? I don't know. Pick something. I, flip side. Yeah, there you go. this is flip side. Throw doesn't speak much, but that's okay. Um, okay, and who is the guy with the mustache? Mario, that mustache is better than yours. I have to admit, I'm the reason I like you is because your mustache. I'm kind of falling for this old guy. He's pretty hunky. My dear, I am called Merlin, and what, that is what is known as a pixel. Pix, pixel. Her name is Tippy. Come, let us adjourn to my house. I would be grateful if you tell us more there. Oh, yeah. Hey, old blind kid, you can leave now. But Gramps, I have eyes. No, you don't. Go away. So we just left him up there. He can just not talk. And then before I knew it, I woke and saw Mario, you, and Tippy. She remembers their names, right? I guess the row isn't important enough to, like, mention his name. Yeah, whatever, throw. He can just sit up back there and not do anything. Well, my dear, this is most assuredly a tale of woe and troubles. Yes, yes it is. Oh, Mario. What do you suppose happened to Luigi and Bowser? They died. What do you want? I don't know. You were there with them. You, you figure it out. See, Mario doesn't know. Don't ask him. Hmm, I suppose you're right. There's just no way to know. Yes, yes, there is no way to know. Stop asking us dumb questions. I just hope they're safe. Hmm. Mer Merlin, what, sh what should we do next? And one pure heart shall lead the way to the next. So it is written. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. There are still more heart pillars to be found in Flipside, young ones. When you find the next heart pillar, you must set a pure heart in it. And when you do... A door of the world containing the next pure heart will open. Ah, oh, isn't that convenient? And my intuition tells me the next door may lead you to the mysterious Merli. Ooh. Like Bestovius and I, Merli is one of the ancients. We are like long lost cousins. Yeah, you guys are just like hanging around here, aren't you? Yes, I have heard that Merli has long guarded an ancient and secret treasure. Do you not ask him questions? If my instincts are correct, it may be the next pure heart we seek. Why don't you just get this from him? Just call him up. Say, hey, we need a pure heart. It's We're in trouble. Why do we have to do all this? I must tell you, the light prognosticus also speaks of her magical powers. So, we just need to find this Merly person, is that it? Why, why can't you just call him up? Oh-ho, are you going as well? You should not tax yourself, you only just recovered, and it may be dangerous. There's Goompas all over the place. Well, I can't just sit here and let everyone else go off to save the worlds now, can't- Yes, you can! You do that in every other game! There's never been a game when you have been, like, useful. Even games you play in, you're not useful. You you can just sit there. It, it's worked before. After all, the void that is spreading in the sky is my fault. Mine and Bowser's. I guess. Because you married him? Mario's... I, Mario would be, I would be pissed, you know. You married Bowser? 
Wow. So I'm going. That's final. I've made my decision. Okay, there you go. Peach has joined your party. Oh, I could think of better things to happen. Now you can control not just Mario, but Princess Peach as well. But, uh, yeah. I guess we need to find that next heart pillar. Yes, we do. Hmm. This princess is headstrong to be sure. How very refreshing. She is not headstrong. She sits in a castle and gets kidnapped by Bowser of all things. Bowser is mentally a little slow up there, so do not get captured by him. But she does every every week. I insist you take this. A key to a door somewhere in town. Thanks. Could you tell us where it is? Oh, no, you just have this key lying around? Okay, cool, dude. There are secrets in this town that even I do not know. This may be one of the keys to uncover them, quite literally, in fact. Please, use this key wherever it fits here in town. What? what? You're telling us to go try every door in town to see if your key works? Really, is what's happening is he forgot his locker storage. He stored it in somewhere. This is the key to it. He can't remember where he stored it. So he's having us go find it for him. My intuition tells me you should be able to use it very near my house. Oh, yeah, see, I told you. It's his locker storage. I will continue to read the light prognosticus and look for any clues that may help. I am sure that this musty old tone has m still as much to teach us. Yes, much indeed. Haven't you read this like six times? Now, Mario, Princess Peach, do what all you can to stop the Count's evil plans. Let's just ignore Tippy and Thoreau sitting right there going, Hey, guys, what about us? Let's go, Mario. Come on, Tippy. Yeah. Thoreau, you can just, I don't know, go to hell or something. Like, what? why Why are we not hanging out with Thoreau here? What's up with him? When playing as Princess Peach, you can use her umbrella in a few ways. Press and hold 2 while jumping to float slowly down. In addition, press down to use your umbrella to guard against enemy attacks. When you want to change your character, choose him or her on the menu screen. Oh, that's her guard? I thought she put it in front of her. This is not a guard. This is kind of weird. But this is pretty cool that we can float. Um, but she cannot go 3D. That is the, that is a big problem, though. But So, the, uh, what's his face? The guy says we should be able to use it somewhere near our house, but I am looking around right now and cannot find anything. Let's go in here. Is there, do you have a secret room that I can use? Uh, oh, that's right. She cannot go in the third dimension. So already we're going to say no to Princess Peach and yes to Mario because he can go in the third dimension. Uh, I see nothing. I see nothing. All right. So, guys, what's going to happen now is that I'm going to take a break. In the next episode, we will continue looking around for what this key can go to. And, um... Oh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> we'll continue looking for what this key can go to. And we'll look for the next light pillar. So stick around, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.